All right, now we want to celebrate Bill Stephan's 45th anniversary on television, playing a little game we call Know Your Stephan. This will be a fun one. If you're familiar with the newlywed game, it's sort of like that. <laughs> so we brought Ellen back in with Bill. Congratulations, Bill. Thank so you. excited. We asked Bill some questions about himself, and we're going to go ahead and ask Ellen some of these questions, see if she knows her favorite meteorologist well enough to win this game. All right, you guys ready? I'm a little more prepared. Okay, ready. Okay. Okay. Like, think of all your Bill facts. Okay. <laughs> all the things you know about Got Bill. Him. Okay. Question number one. Okay. What is Bill's all time favorite weather event? All time favorite? Weather event. Like the one. Yes. Maybe the blizzard of 70. Derecho. I changed my mind. <laughs> oh! I oh, don't change your don't mind. Don't change your mind. Yes. I was going to say, I knew you'd know that one. <laughs> I yes. said right away, of course you knew that one. Because mm -hmm. yes, I yelled it out too. One. That's a good one. And that made your name. Uh, it's amazing because that really did. When I was uh, uh, forecasting for that storm, I went 6 to 10 inches, and I thought that was so much snow. We wound up getting 15 inches of snow in 15 hours. Oh. There's no computers. There's no cell phones. So all people had to do when they were stuck in their homes was watch me on TV. Right. Mm. The ratings were enormous. Yep. Yeah. Bill like had that. all those facts right up mm -hmm. here, and he right just there. got it right. Mm -hmm. You got it right. <laughs> That's why we watch him. <laughs> all right, question number two. Okay. You ready, Ellen? Yeah. <laughs> Don't change your mind. <laughs> this one you should know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll know this one. What fall treat does Bill like to leave in our break room every fall? Oh, apples. There you Fresh go. apples. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. nice. Love apples, and uh, last night I had a gigantic piece of apple pie made mm, by my wife sweet. with honey crisp yeah. apples uh, and uh, some of the Rome apples from across the street. Just absolutely wonderful. Yeah, where do you yeah. get these apples? I, I get apples. Well, I, there's so many places I, uh, just that go I get around apples picking from. Up these apples yeah, and, and it, we just reap it, the benefits. There's, there's a lot of the picking. Yep. We'll enjoy them. We yeah, there's a lot of places you can stop. Uh, you know, on the up on the well, ridge here. We enjoy, we enjoy them. Mm -hmm. All right, third question. This one's a little tougher. When Bill started in 1974, oh. what was his annual <laughs> salary from his first full-time job as okay. a forecaster? So the thing is... If you're close, it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you saying you pulled home like 100 bucks a week maybe or every... A little more than that. Um, Uh-oh, you're going to have oh, to do some math that in this one. Uh, mm, 18000 a year. Oh. Ooh. Well, should we look at the answer? Yes. Close only counts. I, that was, oh. I made 175 hours a week. guess double. And that that was working six days a week oh, back man. then. Wow. I did the morning. You were rolling and in the dough, Bill. Weekdays. Yeah. I was. I I ag actually was because I didn't have any chance to spend the money. I was working so many hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of times, some people will have a side job right oh, when they first so get, much, get into so this industry. Fun. You got to so do what fun. you got to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do have one final question and then a bonus question if we have time. All right, okay. Ellen, tell us the occasion Bill was more was more important than actually Santa Claus. The occasion when Bill was more <laughs> important than Santa Claus. Like any parade. Yes. <laughs> any <laughs> holiday so parade. That's so true. That's we'll we'll give her that one. Yes, okay. I think we should. Okay, yeah. I should. I don't know oh, if that was more important. Bill Christmas parade. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I've been trying really hard not to cheat, by the way. I've been not looking at the answers. <laughs> What's, what's interesting is the, the I try and get to both the Grand Rapids and the Hudsonville parades, uh, you know, right for uh, Thanksgiving here, <laughs> and it was really difficult back then because I had to race to get to Hudsonville. The the car I was supposed to be in already took off. I wound up walking with Santa, <laughs> and everybody's saying Bill, 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 right. Bill, you know, and Santa's kind of like, now wait a minute here. Huh? We we saved the best for last yeah. in that one then. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we do wish you a congratulations on this one, Thank Bill. Forty five years. Yeah. Haven't we it's been lucky been to have awful. him on our it's television? Been awesome. Awesome. I, I just thoroughly loved it. Well, we are having some fun tonight as we celebrate Bill Steffen being on West Michigan Television, forecasting for 45 years now. Right. So we're playing a fun game called Know Your Steffen, sort of like that game Newlyweds. We didn't get to this last question on the 7 on 8, so we want to get to it now. When was the last time Bill did not sport his famous <laughs> mustache? This is a multiple choice one. So was it last year? No. Was it 10 years ago? 35 years ago or 50 years ago. Alan, what do you think? <sighs> okay, so this is tricky because I know your kids mm -hmm. have not seen you without right. a mustache. So I'm between C and D here. It has to be between <laughs> 35 and 50. I, it is I, between C and D. Uh, I'm going to go with go. C, 35. It's D. <laughs> <laughs> I go all the way back to growing this mustache when I was a late teenager. Wow. Uh, 19 years old. My grandfather had a really nice mustache. 
And I thought that was that looked so <laughs> cool and everything. And I went to school at the University of Wisconsin where it's really, really cold. So anything you can do to put something between you and the outside air is a good thing. I wonder how many teens you've inspired now right. with Maybe. your 50 yes. years of mustache. That's <laughs> incredible. My kids and my wife have never seen me without a mustache. Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Bill, you've made it popular because we see that same mustache everywhere now. When you hand out those mustaches, I, I've, I've they're out there. I've handed out thousands of those. <laughs> yeah. And and we love we it. We have fun with the kids with that. Well, mm -hmm. congratulations, Bill. Thank you. You've, it, you've been such an asset to the community. 45 years. So awesome. And I am having just as much fun as when I started. I thought after a while there'd be some burnout here, but boy, I am just as excited when I get up in the morning to get to the computer and find out what's going on. It, it's uh, something I had. By the way, a little bonus question here. When do you think I gave my first weather cast? Oh. Uh, my, 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 my first actual weather mm. forecast. Uh, was see. it pre-mustache? <laughs> pre-mustache, yes, indeed. It was pre-mustache, uh, and that would have been... <laughs> it was when I was in kindergarten. Oh! Mm -hmm. My mother said, we had parent-teacher conference, and Mrs. Pettinger was there, and my mother said, you know, how's Bill doing and all that? And Mrs. Pettinger said, yeah, Billy really seems to like the weather. <laughs> and, and my mother said, really? Yeah, I know, he likes weather. And uh, Mrs. Pettinger said, he actually got up in front of the class and told everybody what the weather was going to be like today. See? And, and my mother said, well, did they listen? And Mrs. <laughs> Pettinger <laughs> said, they really did. So well, that's so how you know you can start. trust Bill. He started way back when he was a kindergarten. Right. Five See? years old. So the man's got the answer about all the weather then, yeah. <laughs> right here. I loved it back then. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the air.